Man, this is pretty nice. I'm in Ketchikan, Alaska, visiting my old friends TJ and Jan. Now, for those of you who've been watching this channel for a long time, you remember TJ and Jan from back in the days when I probably had like 10,000 subscribers. How I met them was I posted a video on crab snaring. TJ hit me up and he wanted to buy some crab snares. After that, we started rock fishing a lot. He moved to Florida. He got his captain's license and then he captains up here he runs a charter boat for a company called Alaska Strike Zone for about half the year so they're up here right now and me and my family are up here visiting them tomorrow we're gonna go bottom fishing so very similar type of fishing that what we're used to in California a lot of lingcod halibut except up here they're not California halibut they're Pacific halibut more of a diamond shape so we're gonna go out after some of those tomorrow who's that who's back there TJ's back there. TJ you want to say hi to the camera to your old, to your old old friends on YouTube. Yeah. You guys remember TJ? He's just got a little What's little. What's going on, guys? A little beard now. Yeah, a little scruffy. I guess you call it beard, maybe half beard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I just said we're going fishing tomorrow. Halibut, salmon. Be out here for a few days, about a week, six six days or so. Probably get like four days of fishing in. One day of salmon trolling, another day of halibut fishing. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Tomorrow's probably gonna be pelagics. Probably go pelagics. up to pelagic, rockfish, yellow eye, ling cod. I've been up here three years, and tomorrow we will go twice as far as I've ever been since I've been here. Do we have to go this far? Like, why Why are we going? Why are we making pelagics. this run? Pelagics are your black sea bass, just like California. The black They call them up here black bass. That's just what they call them in Alaska. So your black bass, they're pelagics. Your blues, pelagics. Yellow and yellowtail pelagics that's what we're going to go after yellowtail as in yellow like yellow, no like what kind no, of yellow like, like yellow rockfish, rockfish. Uh, uh, they're yellow they're bass basically yeah, yeah that's what they call the pelagics here's bass you're gonna go catch bass yeah it's our captain here tomorrow oh, i'm sorry Jeez. i didn't know we were doing, doing a little doing do an intro rob hey, hope yeah. you're ready for it <laughs> welcome to youtube, <laughs> welcome to YouTube. <laughs> this is robert how we doing guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're going out just jan robert tj and my, Peter with and Peter, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One more guy coming lures. out here. Yeah, lighthouse lures. Yeah, we caught a hundred pound halibut last year on one of these these lures, crazy looking thing, sixteen ounces or something. Yeah, we did actually. Yeah, you yeah. got your big fish on one of his jigs last year. Yeah. Sure enough. Yeah, so it's gonna be fun. A ten foot wide boat, twenty eight foot long, uh, five of us fishing. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of room. Yeah, uh, nice marine. Allied marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Tomorrow morning, we'll get to it. Tonight, we're just gonna chill, hang out, and have some dinner, and we'll get to it bright and early tomorrow. Kind of windy. Oh, there's some kelp right there. A little kelp. Yeah. Out here, we made it out. In the middle of nowhere. It looks like there's a boat headed straight towards us. We're like what, 50, 55 miles We're away 45 from. Forty-five feet. So. Forty-five. 45. Yep. Right now, 45. <laughs> forty-five feet deep. Thirty-eight. Coming up. Fish <laughs> down. Hurry up. And then around us, how deep does it get? Four hundred. Seven hundred. Right behind Jeez. us, where we came in. So 700 feet coming up to 35 feet now. There's some fish here. This is like what we're used to in NorCal, in California, rock fishing. Pinnacles under the boat, we can't see anything at all. There's some kelp here, so it's not too deep. He's on. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fast. So there's gonna be a lot of fish in this video, so I'm probably not gonna film everything, but this is the first fish of the day. That was yeah, 10 seconds in the water. So we got a bunch of lures to use. I also brought some big old Kitex, some eight inch Kitex and some regular old jig heads that we would use, but that's the thing I'm gonna use right now. I guess in Alaska, it's legal to use two single hooks. You can't use a, a stinger treble hook on the back. Oh, uh, they're right on that kelp out there. Is that you getting bites? No, no, I'm dropping down. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a bit. Yep. 
That's a, oh, it just came off. I had one. Probably link odd. Man, I don't know what I got. What I'm gonna keep today? You can drop anything down, and you'll get a fish like that right there. He's on. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's what we'll fish for about like half an hour for. Oh, Woo. he's on now. He's on. Oh, whoa! 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 Yeah, we're not gonna get greedy and start keeping everything we catch. We're, we already released two lings. This is probably the uh, This is a nice fish right here. <sighs> Damn. And it's nice that we're not super deep either, so it's not gonna take super long to get up either. But this is a nice fish. I'm gonna estimate right here. This is this is a. Uh, this is a big ling. You see it, Matt? Yep. It. There's, here's Peter's. No. Just flipping through that lip here real quick. Yep. Okay, coming aboard. There he is. Holy cow. I'm gonna, gonna let this go. Yeah. Oh, he's hooked good too. Okay. Okay. This is probably my PB ling cod in about 10 minutes fishing out here. This is gonna be a good day. 20, 20, 22 pounds, that's what I'd say. Look at the head on that thing. All right, see you later, your lucky day. Good looking lure. 102 now, so we've been drifting for a couple minutes and we've already drifted from 38 feet to 102 feet. So it's a nice deep pinnacle here. Man, I got to think about what I want to keep during this trip because I don't think I'm going to keep too much rockfish or lingcod. I think I might release almost everything today, but hopefully we can catch a nice, nice rockfish, have that for lunch or dinner. So the line was framed. We're going straight braid. I'm just cutting that off and tying it up again. Don't want to lose this lure and just want to, don't want to lose any fish either. So just a easy Palomar knot. And what we're doing here, you can see the motor's going on again. We're just trying to stay over this little pinnacle here. So once the current just drifts, drifts us over it, we're just gonna put it in reverse and get right back on top of it. Straight braid, I'm gonna catch a couple more fish with this lure and then I'm gonna switch to something else. But pretty much as soon as it hits bottom, we get bit. I'm on again. We're in a lot deeper water now, like a hundred something feet, hundred, uh, That is the biggest kelp greenling I've ever seen. No restrictions, keep it. That looks like a, wait, is that? No, dude. That's a lingcod. That's a lingcod? His fins look so funny. Yeah, you got a little skinny mouth. Yeah, it's a tiny little mouth on him. Looks like a lizard fish almost. Dude, that's so weird. That's like a lingcod, kelp greenling, cabazon hybrid. See his fins too? It's not hey, he's, he's, that's yeah, a, he's weird looking. That's a really weird looking fish. It's like a cabaz uh, lingcod mated with a cup greenling. <laughs> really cool thing about lingcod is that they don't have swim bladders, so no matter how deep they get, they won't get blown out. They won't have a big old swim bladder coming out of their mouth. But that's a nice fish. That's fish. Yeah. Almost right when you drop it down and leave it there for a sec, you get bit. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That on top right there. Did you guys just throw that chine in? Because I see it. Yeah. Yeah, he's up there. So like I said, with the swim bladders, that big uh, China rockfish we we caught, it's floating out here right now. A tiger coming up. Wow. Hey right, guys, go watch the bottom here real quick. Coming up, try and get this fish back. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Does he get a yellow eye in with that, Rob, or no? No, no, that's a not only one non pelagic So this will be the one for the day or the trip? Uh, the day. For okay. the day. Okay, I'll keep it. Is there ice we could put him on? Yep. Yeah. So this is a release. We're just going to drop him down because his swim bladder expanded a lot and he's just floating. Can't really can't really get down by, on his own, so we're going to drop him down. 32 ounce, 32 ounce. So two, two pounds. 
So on some boats, it's actually required to have a release system like this. 32 and ounce, just goes through the thin skin of, of his lip. Send him down. He needs just a couple of, he needs Fish Games, I think says 100 to 150 feet. And then just give it a little tug and off he comes. Off he comes. So we're going to keep this one, ling after ling. All right, I'm going to throw on a smaller swim bait and see what kind of rockfish we can get. <laughs> so I'm rigging up a little differently. I'm going to use two hooks, a trailer hook on top. So I'm doing a dropper loop right here. Doing a big old loop right there with some 50 pound mono going to a 65 pound test braid. All right, I'm hooked up on one. I'm going to leave him down there and then I'm going to get a bigger one. Something big. It's not fighting at all. I bet it's hitchhiker. I got color, and you got no, no hitchhiker. Two yellow eyes. So that's what I mean. The lingcod have don't have swim bladders. That's the fish's swim bladder. So we're gonna put him on the release, and get him low, because all the pressure will just make that thing squeeze down, and then they could swim and they'll live. But if we just release them on top like this, they won't live. So I'm trying to target the pelagics now, which we can keep five of. So I'm not dropping down all the way to the bottom. So Jan just caught here, big black. Totally, like everything is oversized here, super oversized. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. Wow. What do you think, Matt? It's so fun out here right now. Yeah. This dude. is crazy. We put got like ten of these in the past five minutes, probably as quick as you get them down. So yep. fun. These are the ones that you can keep five a day. We just passed by a school of them. I don't know why we got no rods out right now. We should put them back down. <laughs> 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 We're probably gonna spend a lot of time out here just fishing for these pelagics, which are the blacks, blues, things like that, the olive, which we can keep five a day. Sorry. Try to load the cooler up with those. Any lingcod and stuff we keep catch, we're probably gonna release those, but I know just catching fish like this all day, it's gonna get a little boring for you guys, so. Oh! So we'll be back at the harbor with our catch. Well, y'all, we are back at the house now and these are the two fish that we're gonna cook tonight. I'm gonna fillet them up, up here, two nice tiger rockfish beautiful looking fish look at the pattern on these things big old fish too a lot bigger than you catch in california anyway i'm gonna fillet these up and i was thinking about um, some new recipe trying to mix it up a little bit so the plan is I'm gonna do a fillet i'm gonna butterfly it i'm gonna put bacon on the inside put some avocado on the inside too i think put some cheese on the top close the butterfly put some uh, batter on it deep fry it and then throw it in the smoker to cook the inside pretty ambitious and I don't know where this idea came from but it's going to come into fruition in a few minutes so gonna fillet this thing then we're just gonna cut down the spine Look at those skins, you can make a little belt or a wallet with that. Seriously, if you scaled it and dried it, you can make a wallet with that. So actually one thing I want to do, this is the filet, this is what's going to be butterflied. But one thing I want to do first is salt both sides and let it sit for about 10 minutes. That always gives it a nice little flavor. And you could probably put some spices in there too. With the salt and the spices, it would probably absorb into the meat. It's going to do that, get the bacon prepped, get the avocados cut, throw it in the fryer.
actually good. To the smoker she goes. Here. All right, so this is the rockfish filleted stuffed cheese avocado bacon. So Sweet. before we try it though, what did you first think when I said I'm going to make this with a little bit of batter fried and smoked? You're crazy as hell, man. <laughs> it ain't going to go. It's not going to work. That's it's what creative, I you know. You, you catch this fish, you got to find different ways to, to, to cook it up exactly. and to enjoy it. I was watching for logs when he was designing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was fishing for help. <laughs> All right. Well, Let's try again, it. Everybody. So this is avocado with bacon and cheese. That's just cheese and bacon. I ate all of the avocado on there. There we go. Oh my God, one. I don't know. Hopefully the cheese. A lot of people say cheese and fish don't mix well. I used to believe that until I made cheese with king's oh. or with salmon, silver salmon. Wow. Actually, it wasn't king. And then, uh... Changed my mind. I like the smoke. Yeah, you, you can actually taste really taste that smoky oh, flavor. Oh, yeah. You got a nice good. piece of bacon. It's though. very good. I'm gonna bacon it's very good. I'm gonna bacon it's though. very good. I'm gonna take this. Stand over oh. here, Rob. Stand over here a little bit right oh, next to Alex. Yeah, perfect. Mm. There's not much avocado flavor. It's mostly the smoke and the fish. It's really good. And it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually All right. love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting back in there. How's it, TJ? What's your little. What's your. I had a piece of bacon with mine. It was mm. good. Maybe the. Uh, that's yeah, a, that's, that's, that's well, don't say anything. <laughs> it is phenomenal. It is really, oh, it's oh, really oh, good. Oh, it's oh, really oh, good. Oh, it's really oh, good. Well, there you go. Fish and chips to like the next level is what it is. Yeah, you really can get that smoke on. Huh? Subtle, mm -hmm. subtle smoke so, flavor. Yeah, it's, it's just perfect. It's. Well, that's gonna yeah, be good. Most of the smoke is an aftertaste, but yeah. it's yeah. so good. It's good, man. Hell it's yeah. that really good fishy flavor, a little bit of bacon with a really it's not good even fishy taste. In it. That's good. No. Well, like rockfish is such a bland really taste, good. like you can yeah. season it, but like it's a really good fish, tiny bit of avocado bacon, then the strong smoke aftertaste. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, you want another that piece? Yeah, I'm gonna eat a whole one of those. I think, I think you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a hit. It's yeah. great. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, well, that's day one of Alaska. We'll be back out here tomorrow. Hopefully yeah. some co-hosts. Some co-hosts. I haven't even eaten any. You guys are just... <laughs> <laughs> we devoured it. <laughs> we got more? Is that it? A lot of cheese in that bite, and that that's cheese good. is good, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I think take two. That's what it is. Take two. And Make take it again, two. Let's mass. just make four of those. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's actually yeah, really damn, good. Yeah. Reshoot. <laughs> I know reshoot. I just want to eat them. The cheese, yeah, it really helped. It, it, what nice. type of cheese is that? I it's TJ special. It's a, that's just a nice, nice cheese fries. Uh, fried's fine. Italian, <laughs> Italian, Italian mix, Italian herb or whatever. No, all fried cheese. Ooh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice ling again. I don't think as big as the other one. Uh, it might be. <laughs> yeah, I can hold them down there and attract them all to you. I definitely got hit hard. This is another nice fish right here. <laughs> Are we snagged? No? Yeah. It's weird. Dude, we're we're not we're not deep at all. Oh what's that? That's a cabbie. That's a cabbie. That's what I wanted to catch out here. Yeah, we're you're gonna have to keep that. Can we keep that? Yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have to keep that. Oh the line's all frayed up. There he is. Nice cab, dude. Nice. Yeah. This is not. Uh, it might be eight pounds. It might be eight pounds. Can you grab that lure out of there? Thank you. All right. Well, that's a nice fish. We're gonna bleed him, and we're gonna keep this one. Cabbies are really good eating. Do we want to bleed him? Uh, yeah. Let's bleed him, huh? Right behind you here. Yeah. Can you use the big one? 